Welcome to the supplemental lecture on stoichiometry and the conservation of mass. Stoichiometry is the unique chemical relationship between the reactants of a chemical reaction and the products of that reaction. If we look at a very generic chemical reaction, A plus B, give C. The reactants are on the left-hand side. The arrow means we have a chemical reaction taking place. And the product or products is on the right-hand side. The relationship between A and B is a one-to-one -one relationship. One molecule of A reacts with one molecule of B. The relationship between A and C is also a one-to-one -one relationship. One molecule of A produces one molecule of C. The relationship between B and C is also one-to-one. -one. one molecule of C is produced from one molecule of B. Let's look at the formation of water. The formation of water involves hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, to produce H2O, or water. You may think that this relationship is just like the one we looked at on the previous slide, A plus B gives C. But this isn't the case. We have to take inventory of our elements to conserve mass. The law of conservation of mass states that matter or mass can neither be created nor destroyed. So we must conserve the mass on the left-hand side in the reactants and on the right-hand side in the products. We start by taking an inventory. Hydrogen on the left, we have two, and we have two oxygens. On the right-hand side, we have two hydrogens, and we only have one oxygen. You may think it may be easy to write a small subscript 2 directly after water. If we do so, this changes water and its chemical composition, so this is bad. H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. Instead, what we need to do is add more oxygen on the right-hand side. And the only way to do this is to place a large two in front of the water, stating that we're now going to have two waters. Two H2O translates into two water molecules. And as you can see, there are four hydrogens now and two oxygens on the right-hand side. So we need to update our inventory. On the left-hand side, we're now deficient by two hydrogens. Simply adding a two in front of the hydrogen allows us now to have two molecules of hydrogen gas, or molecular hydrogen, which has a total of four atoms of hydrogen. Now the equation is balanced, and mass has been conserved on the reactant side and on the product side. And now we've developed a relationship between the reactants and the products that follows the conservation of mass law.